Oh man, oh man, I'm back and I'm alive. And look what I got here. Guns. Yep. Guns in vanilla Minecraft. But I'm not going to be covering that today. Today I'll be covering a little bug that I discovered uh, in player data. Um, specifically, you can modify player into inventory data uh, using the data command. And I'll demonstrate. Uh, I can do give at p carrot. Um, and we can give it a tag. And this is required. I'll show you why. Uh, data get entity at p selected. So you can see that I have the tag with yeet, right? So this player data is limited only to everything under tag. So I can modify things like damage, unbreakable, uh, lore, display, you know, name, things like that. And to demonstrate this in action, I have my trusty Mosin. Drop it on the ground. And I can do data modify entity at key uh, selected item dot tag dot display. Right? So that's the lore and name. And set from entity at e. And we're going to target it. So type equals item limit equals one. And we do item dot tag dot display. And you're going to see the carrot moves and unable to modify player data. Now that is wrong. That is a bug. Uh, in fact, my data is modified. And you can see here. So you can see that it copied everything from the Mosin over to the carrot. Now you're like, oh man, Brad, this is useless. I'm not going to ever use something like this. Well, for map makers and data pack, uh, data pack makers and all those, this is very, very useful. Um, it allows you to basically do some uh, crazy stuff. For example, here I can rename this Mosin uh, into anything really. Uh, sure. Uh, and when I reload, the name stays. And you're like, okay, yeah, uh, so what? Isn't that what's supposed to happen? Well, no, not really. Uh, when I drop an item, I'm actually deleting it and replacing it in a, replacing a new item using a replace item uh, in my hand. Uh, so it's a completely new item, right? So I'm copying the data over. And you're like, okay, uh, what's so good about that? Well, this allows you to do a lot of things that weren't possible before. Uh, as you see here, I can have custom names and items. Before, you would need a command for every combination, or you need to teleport items around, and that's inconvenient, right? Uh, but now, just copy the data over. So all you need to do is uh, give yourself an item, uh, give it a tag, and then copy anything you want, and you're done. So yeah, I hope you learned something. This is a very powerful tool. Hopefully people learn to use it. I know I will. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.